Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. In today I'm just going to really briefly talk about my new favourite running shoe. Uh, if you've been following this channel you'll remember that back at Christmas time Santa Claus brought me a pair of Adidas Ultra Boost and I've been wearing them ever since. To date I think I've run about, I think it was 598 kilometres, so just about 600 kilometres uh, of running in them. Before I got those shoes I was an absolute ardent Hoka Clifton shoe wearer. So this was my go-to shoe for day-to-day -day running. Um, I love the Hoka Cliftons. Um, I, I spoke about them so highly, I, I just thought you couldn't get a better shoe. And then at Christmas time, I don't know why, I just thought I'd mix it up and try a shoe. I was looking for a shoe that I could use kind of every day, that I could do some workouts in. Uh, a kind of shoe that, in most of my running is like an hour, an hour most days at max. Um, and I wanted something that would be a little bit versatile, that I could do some workouts in, like 800s or 400 repeats. Um, something that will give you a little bit of support, but also allow for that kind of give when you're doing your um, quite hard sessions and something that was pretty light too. So this shoe, I think I paid 140 euros for it. So just for your average day-to-day -day runner, if you're just getting into running, it's probably a little bit too expensive. And if you're just doing a couple of runs each day, this shoe, you could probably get something a little bit better for bang for your buck by going a little bit cheaper. But if like me, your goal is to try and run five or six days a week, or I try and run every day because life just throws up days off every now and again. So this is the shoe that I go for. Um, it's a really good, versatile shoe, and there's a couple of things that I really like about it. The first thing that I really like is that the inside of it has an integrated tongue. So the tongue isn't uh, separate from the side of the shoe. So you can see in the old Hoka, the tongue is loose. So when the shoes get old, I find the tongue starts to, starts to bend a little bit, starts to crease. And when you're putting on your shoe to go for a run, sometimes you don't realize, you might get like, you know, a couple of minutes down the road and you realize the tongue is cotton and it starts to dig into your uh, side of your foot. So this shoe, the tongue is integrated and that is really, I, I never noticed it when I got it, but it's something that since I've got it, I've noticed and it's, it's fantastic. Jumping on from there then, it's the second thing is that the laces attach to this little plastic thing at the side. Again, when I saw them first, I thought that was gonna annoy me, but what it allows you to do is because the tongue is integrated, and the laces don't go through the side mesh of the shoe. You can pull them nice and tight without them digging too hard into your into your um, into the side of your foot. So it's really good. Something that I absolutely never thought about, but it's just turned out to be something that's so comfortable. And the side of my sh my side of my foot on the inside, on both is a little bit sensitive. Probably even running for so many days over so many years. And sometimes I find if you pull the laces too tight, it gets almost a little bit like sore or a little bit uncomfortable. I just never get that anymore with these. And it's like I said, it's something that I never thought about, but it's thrown up. The third thing that I really like about these Ultra Boosts is that the very front, okay, so the, 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 the mesh at the front here is quite soft and forgiving uh, because the shoe is quite light. But at the very front, like right where your toe is, it's really hard, like they, they've hardened it up. There's no way your tongue, your, your, any of your toes are gonna to burst through this. I don't remember if anybody used to run way back in the day when ASICS was pretty much the only shoe anybody ever wore and everybody used to go around with a hole coming through the front of their ASICS. The big toe used to come through every pair. I remember getting like Kayanos after Kayano after Kayano and the, 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 everybody going around giving out races the, the, the toe view. That's never gonna to happen to these shoes because it's really reinforced. And when you put your hand on the inside, there's like a really soft, unnoticeable piece of rubber almost going around the front of it, like right around there. So like I said, your, to your shoe's never gonna come through, but also I find that if you run through a little bit of grass, like if it's a, if it's dew on the grass in the morning, sometimes you run it, you can feel the moisture coming through and your toes get wet. It doesn't happen with these, because again, that little rubber's on the inside, so it's just, for a day-to-day -day shoe, for a day-to-day -day runner, these are absolutely perfect. Moving on from that, similar to the Hoka, the heel, as you can see, you got a good bit of, um, Got a good bit of foam in there, so you really get that kind of little foamy, foamy um, little hug every time you hit the ground. It's just letting you know that I'm here for you. We're gonna give you a little bit of support. It's quite reactive. It's also, like I said earlier, it's super light, so it's really good. And then the fourth thing is this little plastic thing here. I'm not sure what it's called, but it's right across the midfoot. The little plastic um, uh, cut out in there. And it, 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 what it does is, when you're running, you can feel it, it kind of it kind of absorbs but it also will give you that little bit of, you, when you're using your own little bit of power, it makes, it kind of, you get the feeling that all your power is going to you. You're not leaving any of it behind on the tarmac or on the concrete or grass, whatever you're running on. Because this little bit of plastic, it's just that little bit of firmness in that midfoot that makes you really feel like, hey, yeah, I got you here. And then the last, but definitely not least, the thing that I like about these is a day-to-day -day shoe. And it's gonna probably pip me from buying, a, make me buy another pair of these and not go with the Cliftons anymore. I think I'm gonna give up on the Cliftons for a while. And as you can see, this Continental, you know, the Continental company who make tires. 
So they've got they've um they've added to the sole of this. You can see the continental sign there. And I've got 600 kilometers out of these bad boys, and as you can see, the two heels are almost perfect. They're almost identical. Um there's a little bit of wear, extra wear here on the left, always the left one. My left one always gets worn down more than the right. But as you can see, there's 600 kilometers in them. Now, if I look at my old Hoka's, with 600 kilometers on, the, on these, um, and you can see there's much more wear across the front of that than on this. And the other thing with the Hoka's, this is probably what made me give up on them, is that only after 600 kilometers, the whole thing is ripped. Um, so they went by the by. Usually I would have got about 15, 16, 1700 kilometers out of a pair of Hoka's. Those ones gave up the ghost after I think it was just over 600. Like I said, I'm 600 through these Adidas Ultra Boost. And I have to say, these are, I'm probably going to get another 1000 kilometers if these keep up going the way they are, which is absolutely fantastic. Um, like I said, a fantastic shoe for just day to day running. You know, come in from work, throw on, just get changed into your gear, put them on, don't have to worry about anything. Doesn't matter whether you're going, going to do hill repeats. Whether you're doing short um, repeats on the road, on the tarmac, even I've worn them, I think, once or twice in the track and they felt pretty good. I try and use my ratios when I do run on the track, something like light and soft, but if you forget them and these are the only thing you got, absolutely fantastic. Um, I've ran at the weekend of these, probably up to around 21k, absolutely fine. You could probably go a little bit further, probably wouldn't recommend them for marathon running. Um, because you can just get a much better shoe for in, in around the same price but like i said for your day-to-day -day shoe for versatility for comfort and for a little bit of everything this is the bad boy that i'm going with from now on so that is my favorite shoe at the moment um it might take a while before that's beaten i think the hoka clifton's i start wearing in 2015 so i got a good seven years of them being my favorite shoe um i will definitely try a hoka uh, shoe again um but for the moment, the Ultra Boost is going to be my favorite shoe. So anyway, like I say, guys, run far, run fast, but most of all, run sensible.